have seen have come short of the glory of God. If you then say, we have no sin, no sin to be cleansed. We have not done anything wrong since we were born. You deceive yourself and the truth is not in us. So nobody can say, no, I have no sin to be cleansed. I don't need Jesus Christ. I don't need his salvation. I'm all right. And my mind is as plain like this. I don't, uh, you know, wish anybody evil. I just, you know, go my way and do my... You cannot say that. All we like sheep have gone astray, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. That's what Jesus did. Nobody can say, well, I don't have money to buy salvation. You don't need money. I don't have, uh, you know, good works. I'm not good enough to buy salvation. You don't need anything. He was wounded for our transgression. You cannot have sin and go to heaven. There are many people, they care for the body, and the body is only here for a few years. And then after that, the body dies, and then it's buried in the grave. But the soul that lives forever, and what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? That's why you should concentrate, first of all, on the very fact that he was wounded for your transgression, and that he was bruised for your iniquities. He bore the punishment of our sin. He bore the shame of our sin. And when you turn away from that sin, you turn to the Lord, you turn to the Savior, he will forgive you. He will change your life. And then he has the ability to cleanse. He cleanses. If you just say, you know, if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, you must connect it with the others. You're saying that so that you can go to God for confession and for repentance. If you're still living in sin, you're still lying, you have your part in labor that bonds with fire and brimstone, you're still committing fornication, adultery, you're still stealing, stealing money, and stealing that money anywhere, whether you steal it in your office or you steal it in your home or you steal it anywhere, if you're still stealing, if you die in that condition, you'll go to hell forever. Five minutes in hell, you will forget all the enjoyment you had in sinning. And one hour in hell, uh, you, there will be no remembrance of any pleasure you had in sin. And we're not talking of hell for one hour, one year, ten years, a hundred years, a thousand years, a million years, a trillion years, on and on and on. Hell is an everlasting place. And if you're going to escape that hell, you come to the Lord Jesus Christ. You are cleansed in the blood of the Lamb. Whosoever, whosoever is born of God does not commit sin. Well, not just you know, take for granted we're all sinners. No, we're not all sinners. And we'll go to the Lord. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us and then to cleanse us. And he breaks the power of that sin, that that sin will not control your life anymore. Because whosoever is born of God does not commit sin. For his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin while Christ lives in him while he's covered in the blood of the Lamb, while he's looking very seriously at the promises of God and he's standing on the promises he cannot sin because he's born of God. There's no reason to pretend. What, what are we pretending about? When you were born into this world, you didn't know anybody. And when you came to this church, who did you know? You came by yourself and you are staying here by yourself. Why is it you are forgetting the purpose you came? The purpose of came is to make this way the gate to heaven so that your life will be clean and when Christ comes, you'll go with the Lord in Jesus' name. Because if you are just coming to the church and, you know, you're turning over a new leaf and you're trying to change and you're trying to copy other people, you're trying to walk the way we walk and bend the way we bend and fold your hand the way we fold our hands and, you know, whatever it is you're doing, that's not enough. But a definite experience of salvation that will say it happened at this time in this way, I can take you to the place, I can take you to the time when the Lord did that for me if it has not happened, I pray it will happen, and as we come to the Lord today He will do it for us in Jesus name, we rise up and talk to the Lord in prayer, and let the cleansing of that blood be efficacious today, understand, that blood has not lost its power it will 